In this lesson, we're going to add some more records to the products table, but rather than entering those records manually, we're actually going to import them from a text file. So to do that, you go to the external data tab on your ribbon, then you go to the new data source button, from there, from file, then text file. In this dialog box, browse to the course folder that I've given you, and you want to select productlist.txt. You can import it in several ways. You can import it into a new table or append a copy of the records to an existing table. That's what we want to do. Append a copy of the records to the table, table products. You can also link to the data source by creating a linked table. We don't want to do that in this scenario. So we'll go for the second option. Click on OK. So if you have the table that you're importing data into open, you'll always get this message. The table which you're trying to append to is currently open and must be closed before proceeding. Do you want to save the changes and close the table? So we'll say yes. Do you want to save changes to the layout of table, table product? So if you've made any design changes to the table that you want to keep, you need to click yes at this point. And then you'll get the import text wizard dialog box come up. It says your data seems to be in a delimited format. If it isn't, choose the format that more correctly describes your data. Well, a delimited format is a format where each field is separated by a common character, like a tab or a comma. And that is the case for us. These fields are separated by a tab. We'll keep delimited selected, and then we'll go to next. And then you have to choose your delimiter, and tab is the correct delimiter. I can see that that's the case because I've got the lines down the side of each column. For example, if I chose semicolon, or comma, you can see it doesn't separate the fields. So tab is definitely the delimiter. The first row contains field names, so I need to tick that. And then I can go to next. That's all the information the wizard needs to import your data. Import to table, table products. So I can just go to finish. And then I can go to close. Now if I look in the products table, you can see that it's imported 19 products, so I have a total of 20. You may also notice you get this product list import errors table. If I open that up, you can see that for each record it's had a problem with the product sheet field, but I wasn't holding any data in the product sheet field in the text file anyway, so I can safely ignore these errors. So I'm just going to close this down. And in fact, I'm going to delete that table, right click delete, click on yes, and I'm done. So that's all this lesson is going to cover. So if you want to do the same thing in your database, import the records from that product list text file. And when you're done, I'll see you in the next lesson.